guys, today I'm gonna gonna show you how to make a grappling hook in Unity. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Uh, it looks something like this at the end. You can grapple onto stuff. Bonk. You know, like this. I'm going to create a new project with standard assets here. Just call this grapple. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Okay, so there's a project and I just added a terrain and added a texture to it, so I also imported standard assets for the characters. So I'm going to be using the rigid body one. It will work if you have your own. Okay, so let's create a script which will be our main graphing script. Okay, there we go. So let's begin by adding a few variables we're going to be using. So uh, we're going to need the camera for uh, ray casting, and we're going to need the ray cast hit for hit information. Next, we're going to need a rigid body. To do a few things, and for now that's it. So let's set the rigid body to, to rigid body here, yeah. and now we're going to make a. If we press the mouse, uh, the oops, the Left mode button, we're going to grab onto something. So, input get button down fire one. Oh, yeah, we're going to need another variable which is going to be private boolean. Um, attached, there we go. And what we want to do is want to set attached equals true. The default value for this should be false. After this, we want to. Oh no! Wait, it's... no, not like this. We're gonna have to first make a recast. Let's make a recast. Um, I'm going to be recasting from the cam from the camera. And in camera the forward. This is a camera direction and for now there's not going to be any nice distance because I don't need it. You can add it if you want to but I don't need it. Try to just do this and set the nice distance. So attached equals true and next we're going to make our rigid, bo uh, rigid body kinematic so to not fall down and yeah, so now I'm going to make the actual attachment. So I'm going to add a private private float float momentum, a public float speed, a private float. Now what you want to do is you want to do transform dot position equals uh, vector three dot move towards so and you just want to transform dot position to to hit dot point and this will be uh, 
um, step. Wait, there we go. And now we're gonna uh, set step um, step to be equal to momentum times time by delta time and momentum we're going to make it a plus equal time by delta time times speed. The reason why we do uh, with momentum like this instead of just making it step is because we're going to use the momentum later to swing us forward when we release the mouse button. Oh, I just realized something. Copy all of this and delete it. Because we're going to need to place it in if attached. We'll place it here. Uh, yeah. So. Should work. I'm going to make momentum public for now so I can see what's going on. I'm going to make this public so I can see what's going on. Um, let's attach the script. Let's see if there are any errors. No, they're not. So, camera would be this. I think you can use transform.getParents. No, transform.getChild to get this. You can do that. Let's create some obstacles. Name object. We can also make uh, tags for these, so we can only wrap on specific objects, but I don't want to do that here. Let me check this. So here. Okay, where are you? And I can't move. Let's Let me change a few things here. To be here. Let me look. This minus one. There we go. It should not be better. Hmm. It's a bit odd. Dash equals true. Is it? Mm. Make you look. Mm. Attached. Oh. Mm, that's weird. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get this speed. It's going to something like 15. Should work. Yeah, there we go. And we're now attached. So, yeah, and let's move our character a little bit further because it will go faster. The freaking aim correctly. Now, let's add a little crosshair to make it easier. See if we have the center. We can hold shift to make this equally. Mm, scaled. Right? Let's make this black to be easier to see. There we go. Let's see. Let's move back a bit. And there we go. You're attached. So that's, that's the very basic part of it. So now let's make the if. Oh yeah, you want to make an else, so if you're not attached to anything, oops, so attached is false, it's not there. and I'll be is kinematic equals false. This one now, if input dot get button up, I want. What we want to do now is make attach to be false. So it's going to be false. And there we go. 
be like this, and what we want to do now is we want to set our um, uh, we want to set our urge body dot velocity equals transform by forward times momentum. That's why we needed it. And I'm gonna do another thing real quick to stop me from go to stop from going into objects. I'm gonna make an empty game object, and we're gonna make it recast from this object. So we're gonna make it a little bit further away, so this is empty. So when it gets to the end, it will stop going forward. So yeah, this and let's try it out. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, since we're not going to be able to, we don't need that also, I forgot, because, yeah. So, let's try that. There you go. Basically, we're done. But, I made a little mistake, it's supposed to be... Cam dot transform dot forward. Cam's already transformed, so let's do this. Now it should be working. So let's try it out. There we go. And here's the problem. If you look, if you look into another direction. So, oh yeah, minus right, Also, um, if we make it up, we can set it to false. And if attached equals false, what the hell did I just do? If attached, we want to make um, uh, this to be minus. And basically, we're going to lose momentum. I'm going to set this on fire or something. So, let's try that. So, look at my momentum right now. And, uh, attached. And, if momentum is either more or equal than 10. More or equal than 10. More or equal than 10. So, let's try that now. Here we go, bounce on. Yeah, but our momentum doesn't seem to be charged. There we go. And we want to set our step to be equal to zero. So now, let's try it out. I know we set our momentum to be zero. To be a little more fair. So, while attach again, we got momentum to this. Wait until it goes down, and now attach it starts slowly. Another thing you can add is if. Moment. Now we need to add another thing. We can make these private because we don't need these anymore. So, yeah. Now we're going to. Add our character controller. Since we're using from the standard assets, we're going to be needing to do it like this. If you're using, if you're using your own, you just want to make a public in your script. If you have a custom controller, and so let's make body FPS controller. And if CC is um, grounded, then we want to set our momentum to be four, momentum to be zero, and step zero. So another thing we need to add is um, uh, here we need to set our CC camera. 
mouse look dot x sensitivity to be zero. Same thing with y sensitivity. I set it to show so you couldn't look, uh, so you can't look around, and you can get launched into. Because let's say I wrap one from here, and if I look away after I let go, I will be flown over there instead of forward. And I don't want that. So, like for example, oh yeah, it's not set. So after that, so get up. Now so let's set it to five or the sensitivity you want. And let's try that right now. And I didn't attach it. I can do the get what I want. So there we go. Uh, cut. Oh, it is. As long as I'm allowed to do is set it to zero. And momentum is more zero. So now, if I should be able to grab one normally. So, so I can't move my mouse anymore. Actually, let's make it less or equal to zero because it's now going to be more if I'm in the air. Yes, it is. Okay, let's try it again. There we go, looks fine. Looks fine, and you can just grab one right there. And that's basically it. You can grab one to stop and you can have a little 